Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna do a quick little gaming test of uh, the Xperia Z5 Compact, as you can see from the back also. So, let's start off. So, uh, if you are not familiar with the specification, this device has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 chipset. Um, so, and the display is also, of course, not full HD. It's a compact phone, so we should expect the performance to be uh, very nice and at run of 430 GPUs inside I'm really excited and let's see if this phone will heat up in this video or not because a lot of people were uh, kind of uh, complaining it's uh, you know heating issues and all that so I'm just gonna quickly start playing so we're just gonna go and grab a car a taxi will be good Okay. Seems like wow. I mean performance is looking really really nice. And the speakers are really really loud. Um these front speakers very impressive. Oops. Wow, I must say it's running very smooth. Um, I don't have root on the phone. I mean root access, so I can't really show you the FPS. So that's that. But yeah, I think it's, FPS is probably above 45 because looking very smooth, even smoother than what I've seen on the iPhone 6s. Um, I might be wrong, but I will do a separate side by side video of that also so if you guys are interested in that one So yeah, this game is running absolutely fine, so it seems like I should try out another high-end game. So next off is the Asphalt 8 game. This is actually one of my most uh, favorite games. Um, it's, uh, it's It has all the really nice quality uh, graphics. I mean, also quality graphics, and also it has uh, it is free uh, for both Play Store and, um, and the App Store, and maybe for the Windows also but uh, yeah it is free for the windows i remember and yeah it's a pretty nice game to play and test out this snapdragon 810 beast so it is loading so i'm just gonna quickly zoom in to the display and focus i'm gonna upgrade my camera really soon oops so there we go wow Really, really smooth. Feels really buttery. Oh. Wow. I'm really impressed by its gaming performance and it's not heating at all. I mean, currently the temperatures are pretty normal. Maybe it's because of winter time, I don't know.
Oh! Oh no. Extremely smooth performance. I will definitely going to recommend you to try this out on your Z5 phone, Z5 compact phone. Oh no! Okay, so next off is S. No, it's Dead Trigger 2. Yeah. It's a shooting game, it's also free, and let's see how it will perform. Okay, wait a second. Okay, it feels a lot more better now. I need some water. As you can see, it's very smooth when I move um, the camera like this. So, where is the water? Okay. And you can see that we got all the effects going on. Okay. That was pretty easy. Zombie killing. <coughs> hmm. So speakers are pretty loud and so far it is performing absolutely stunning in, um, in almost all the games that I've tested so far and as far as the heat is concerned it is, it is normal, it's not like super heating up like, like the way um, Express Z3 Plus heats up so let's see, let's play a little bit more because it's exciting, it's fun. Whoa. So I kind of have to manually focus my camera because, you know, currently in the process of upgrading. Finally a gun. Okay. She looks like Lara Croft from Tomb Raider.
Okay, so that's enough gaming. Uh, time for the benchmarks. Let's just focus and here we go. Uh, which benchmark should I do? Okay, I got Geekbench 3 here. That's neat and quick. So let me just take a look here at the um, specs. So, and 5.1.1 Lollipop. Uh, clock comes to Snapdragon 8, 10 clocked at 1.56 GHz, Adreno 430 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM. That's enough. Quickly run the benchmark and let's just wait. And now we wait and um, and to be really, really honest, um, this phone is so far, it's really good. I, I don't have any bugs with it. I didn't receive any software update, maybe because um, I heard that they have rolled out an update but um, I don't receive it yet haven't received it yet so so I, I will just going to do some more comparison of this phone and of course a full review but I just wanted to do, I wanted to do a gaming test before doing that full review so I'm kind of satisfied with how it performs. So it, it is heating up normally like every other phone does. Like my LG G4 or, you know, Note 5. It's not an issue. So we're almost done. Okay, so we got a single score, single core score of 900 and multi-core score of 3080. This is the latest application that I downloaded, so um, uh, so no problem with the application. But I think uh, maybe just maybe the application uh, is not optimized, or maybe the scores are low. But I mean, it's just benchmarks, okay? They are just numbers. I just take care uh, of um, you know it's a real life performance. Uh, real life performance is just an important thing to me not these numbers but as you can see it scores less I mean it should have to score I mean plus 4000 in multi core and plus 1000 on single core but that's not the case so yeah that's that and the most important question is will it lag so it doesn't lag and also will it heat up no it doesn't heat up it is temperatures are pretty normal like other phones so no heating issues whatsoever and uh, yeah uh, that's just it I will make more videos and if you have any questions do comment down below let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one uh, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future content yeah I'll see you guys